How you doing, good people? This is the A Bit Animal. Okay, so Jalico. You know, they're best known for Bases Loaded. But they've also made a number of other titles. Um, Robo Warrior, Wampum, um, Totally Red, uh, City Connection, which is one of my favorite arcade titles ever. And today's game. Today's game is actually an arcade port of a title from from Jellico and it while it shares some core gameplay values with the arcade version of this game it actually is a great deal different when compared to the arcade title today's game is the home port of Astyanax now the NES port of Astyanax follows a 16 year old named Astyanax who is being plagued with this recurring dream of someone called, of a woman calling his name. One day he's walking to school and he gets um, teleported to another dimension. By, and when he realizes he, where he is, he's talking to a fairy. The fairy's name is Cutie. Yeah, Cutie. And Cutie starts to tell him this story about how he's in the kingdom of Remlia and he has to rescue Princess Rosebud, the ruler of Remlia from a demon called Blackhorn. And this sets into motion the events of the game. Um, and that's a direct departure from what you do in the arcade game, or the backstory in the arcade game, I should say. The NES version of Astyan X, um, it it's an okay game. It's a platformer. The character sprites are some of the bigger character sprites on NES uh, for a platformer, and the characters' movements aren't as quick and fluid as they as you would expect or hope them to be, based on other platformers on the NES. And the control, but the control, it, it handles pretty well. Um, you can love power up your weapon to a few different levels. There's magic that you can use. Um, most of the levels are pretty straightforward. There's some platforms, some pits to jump over, you know, stuff like that. And at the end of every level, there's a boss fight. Well, there's a mid-boss, and then there's a boss fight. And the bosses, they... I won't say that they're extremely difficult, but they take a lot of damage. You can probably be plugging away at a boss for, for a few minutes before they drop. Um, uh, a Styrmax is... You can't say it's a bad game. Well, I wouldn't say it's a bad game. I wouldn't say it's an incredibly good game either. It's one of those really strong middle ground games on the NES. That it you can't necessarily dip, honestly if you just show gameplay footage to someone like a few seconds of it to someone they won't be able to pick it out of a crop of other NES types. And that was actually par for the course with a lot of games on NES. There was, you know, there weren't a lot of action games that you could differentiate one from the other. Um, however, Astyanax, 
for what it is, you know, as an arcade port, as an arcade reimagining or whatever you want to call it, it's not a bad game. So you could probably find a copy for like two, three bucks. And if you do, you might enjoy it. This has been the 8-Bit Animal, and I will catch you beautiful people tomorrow. Oh, <laughs>